lifted him up. Then. And let, let's <laughs> let's face it. I I worked with uh, I work with some MMA guys. I swear, Kenny, that WCW, TNA, WWE, I, I go over that whole gamut. I don't know of anybody that I worked with that could have beat your ass. And I'm sure you, you agree with me, correct? Yeah, I mean, I like to think so, yeah. Who could have who, who came the closest? In, in, during the Attitude Era, in that locker room, if, if, if you and him had a real heat, who could have gave you the toughest fight as a shoot? Probably Steve Blackman. Steve Blackman, yeah. yeah. What would you say were the differences between you and him? Was, well, he, li was he like maybe? Here's what I got. This is what I loved about you during the Attitude Era. You came from the MMA world. But at that time, MMA's changed a lot now. Now it's become entertainment. Now it's almost become the WWE with Conor McGregor and all the promos and all that. When you were at the MMA, it was fighting. I mean, it was just fighting. Here's what I loved about you. You made this transition, and you ooze charisma, bro. The, the minute a microphone was put in front of you, it was like, my God, this guy's been doing this his whole life. You know, that's what I loved about you. You and Steve Blackman were there at the same time. You were that guy, like, you were a pro wrestler because it wasn't just being able to compete in the ring, but being able to c c uh, conduct a promo. Back in those days, putting asses in seats, getting people to watch Monday Night Raw. Steve Blackman was like the silent assassin, <laughs> yeah. kind of. What would you say were the main differences between you and him? Uh, you know, when you talk about uh, Steve Blackman and you talk about, you know, the charisma part of it, and it just came natural to me. Um, but I always, uh, when, you talk about, uh, when you talk about the UFC and you talk about WWF, right, or WWE, whatever, whatever area you're from, I, I, I have a comparison of, of Steve Blackman in the UFC. It's like Dan Severn. Like a guy that has all the ability physically to go into a ring and put on a great match. He has the attitude. He even has the background. I mean, mm -hmm. he's, he's, not, he's not a wimp. But he can't pick up a mic. He just can't get it done. And Dan Severn was that in the UFC where the guy had tremendous ability, had tremendous skill sets, and he couldn't seem to connect with the fans on the mic. Yeah. Um, and, and that's something that I think that um, I learned early on was that there are a lot of good fighters out there. And this is kind of what I also teach in some of my classes uh, when I talk about motivational speaking is that it's not good enough just to be great. Okay. You can be so good physically and with your abilities be at the, that, that notch level. But when people don't come to watch your fights, because there's a lot of good fighters out there, yeah. what makes you different? How right. are you going to separate yourself from everybody else if everything is even, or even if you're a little bit better? Mm -hmm. But if everything is there, how do you become that guy? And I remember uh, I had a discussion not too long ago about Conor McGregor and how people were saying, oh, man, that, that guy's cocky. He talks a lot. And I, I looked at him and I said... Yeah, but that's why he got the fight with Mayweather. Mm -hmm. That's why he has such a fan favorite. That's mm -hmm. why he is the guy in the UFC right now. Mm -hmm. Because the only way in this world we live in for you to be recognized is for you to make sure people remember who you are. And mm -hmm. how do you do that? Mm -hmm. Maybe it's not talking. I'm not saying you have to be a smack talker. Like, but you've got to create something. Do a backflip in the ring. Mm -hmm. uh, do handsprings. Do something that people go, wow. Mm -hmm. And that's how you're going to make the money. It ain't just about being a great fighter or a great wrestler. You got to be able to, to be able to do something that grabs people's attention. Yeah. that makes you different.